This is Cincinnati's Conscience. We're the only show in town where you, the citizens, are the star by far. What up, y'all? It's Jay All Day. Welcome to another edition of Cincinnati's Conscience. We're live on location. We're in Wooden Woods today, enjoying sunshine and good times. With me today is Mark Clark, CEO, and as well as president of PMO Group. They will be facilitating the second annual Put Me On Music Seminar hosted July 17th at the Hyatt. So Mark, and um, I'd like to know first of all why you're doing this. Why are you doing this for Cincinnati? It started out when I first got here to be, you know, you can take an artist, get an artist, and design, mm -hmm. and production, and it kind of didn't work out. So we were dragging people to New York City to get their demos heard by people like June Archer, Lenny S, or you know, whoever else we had gone to for either you know, a rapper or right. a singer or a producer, and getting that information and relaying it back to the artist, you know, secondhand, that was more of a, they couldn't deal with it, hard <laughs> critique, you know. Yeah, it sometimes like, it's hard. <laughs> yeah, you know, and it's coming from somebody that they know they put in a lot of work with, right. you know, it's like, right. we were in the studio together, you know, right. and you explain things, right. and, but... I started to see that a lot of artists didn't really have an understanding of the game. And, and even at that time, I, I barely had an understanding of the game. I was still learning on, you know, a lot of the things that they were doing, what mm -hmm. they were looking for, how to do it, right. you know, what type of expectations they had. Okay. Know? And that kind of transcended into a seminar. It was something that I wanted to bring so that people could see for themselves. They could sit down and hear things for themselves because to get to a record label and sit down with an A&R at a record label is very hard to do. Most artists may not get the chance to go in there and sit personally. Maybe their manager will have to go in or their lawyer will have to go right. in. And, you know, the artist still sits in the lobby waiting and right. questions remain unanswered right. to them. Right. So with the success, with the success, because this is the second annual, yes. um, what have you learned and what do you have to offer folks um, who may have participated last year but look forward to see what's different this year? Um, well, we basically kept a lot of the things that we okay. did last year. Okay. Um, I thought that was very successful for me okay. last year. I thought a lot of people got a lot of things out of it. Uh, you know, some people walked away with prizes, so I know right. they felt great. Right, <laughs> right. And, you know, that was in part last year a lot to uh, Sony Acid. They were, they are still our sponsor exactly. of the seminar. So they've been very helpful and supportive uh -huh. towards a lot of the artists. You know, they don't have to give us their product right. to give away to these guys. So I saw a lot of the artists here, they feel like performances are the way to go. So, right. you know, I figured, okay, you know, if Performances is what an artist likes, and they like to be on stage, and they like to perform like most artists. Right. You know, I was like, then that'll be the premiere of the showcase. But with, with all your experience as well as your connections, why do you pick Cincinnati? Um, well, Cincinnati is like a city that's untapped. I mean, it has untapped resources. There are no major labels here. Um, Lots no of major. Talent. Yeah, it's, it has a lot of talent, but. The thing I saw a lot was that we were making our own rules. Right. You know, it, it was follow the street. It is the rebels in us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And when you're an independent artist, you know what? You do have the right to make your right. own rules. Right. But just like anything, I mean, if I chose to make computers, I'd still have to put a motherboard in a computer. And a you're file. right. You're so right on. Right on. With anything, you know, you still have to follow some type of standard to get the regular fans who don't make music. Right. I mean, you know, the ordinary fan has no clue what the process is to go through music. They just know they like it, right. they like the beat, they like the song, the melody, and that's it. So you bring the real to the, of the music business to, you know, versus what they've seen on TV and through other media outlets, yeah. you bring a little bit of the real to this reality TV well, show. Well, yeah. <laughs> I try to get people that at least give it to them straight. Right. You know, if, if, you know, you run into a lot of people that like to sugarcoat it. Right. So you go, oh, okay, yeah, you're, you're pretty good, you're great. You're right. Great. You know, here's my number, call me. Right. And then <laughs> you find out the number's disconnected. Been yeah. there, done so, that. That's so 2002. You know, <laughs> but uh, most of the people that I associate with, you know, they believe in the philosophy that if you're really doing something as an artist, you know, mm -hmm. they'll hear about you before they get it. 
So a lot of them, you know, they want to see what an artist is doing. You right. know, they, when you work with a lot of the professional signed artists, you know, they get the job done. There's right. no playing, you know, it's do what you say and say what you do. Right. Well, one of the reasons I'm excited about the opportunity as well as the seminar is that I equate you to uh, Cincinnati's equivalent to G Geppetto for our music scene that is Pinocchio. And hopefully once going through these seminars and workshops and really listening to the advice you provide as well as the advice of the uh, panel that you provided to us that we will eventually become real boys in this music industry. And you know it, it can happen mm -hmm. because last year one of the panelists was TJ, TJ Chapman from TJ DJs and he spoke about his artist B.O.B. Telling a lot of the artists, you know, it's hard. It's, right. You know, you got to go out there, you got to do it every day. It takes a lot. And here we are less than a year later, and TJ did that with his artists, and he's platinum now. You know, yeah. he's had great success, and that's a lot of the hard work that I saw TJ put in because I followed him now. Like, right. What a great endorsement <laughs> for this seminar. Is he coming back this year? Um, I spoke to him, and he said, you know, he's going to try to. Okay. He's gotten real busy. Right. Well, I, I see based on his information and, from last year, I can see why. <laughs> he's, he's definitely a person that, you know, if he's giving advice and, you know, he's telling you this is how it's done, you know, that's basically how it's done. Right. Right. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited about the additions, new places, new people, providing new information. Uh, again, y'all check this out. It is July 17th at the Hyatt. Tickets are on sale. You can contact JM Management as well as the PMO group. Others uh, like Cincinnati's Conscience, if you're good, might be offering free tickets, but only if you're good. Um, this is Cincinnati's Conscience again, bringing to you relevant information to the everyday cats who have the gift, but don't have the guide. My only question to you is, are you turned on?